Construction workers in the Twin Cities say their latest project is building a better future for themselves. WCCO's Adam Duxter shares the support they're getting from Minneapolis leaders to make it happen. It's no job site, but the feeling in South Minneapolis Wednesday was that of a plan coming together in the fight for non-union construction workers against wage theft, child labor, and harassment. None of this will change without the workers at the front. At the workers at the front of this, workers need to be able to come forward and talk about their rights without fear of retaliation. The proposed solution to protect tens of thousands of non-union workers, the Building Dignity and Respect, or BDR program, that would create job site audits and ensure worker protections. Wednesday, two developers, Hope Community and Alliance Housing, signing on. And it is always, how do we figure out how to rein in costs? One thing we know at Hope is that we will not and cannot cut corners when it comes to worker rights, worker dignity, worker pay. The commitment being displayed today by BDR's first signers is monumental to the goal of this program. And it paves the way to a better future for not only the workers, but their families and their communities. The nonprofit group C-Tool represents non-union workers and says nearly half have seen wage theft, leading to eight criminal cases against Metro contractors in the last four years, leading to a call for more developers to join in. All of you for-profit developers who have had a history of using abusive contractors on your projects, it's time for change. If these nonprofit developers can do it, you can do it as well. In Minneapolis, Adam Duxter, WCCO News. In a statement to WCCO News, United Property says it is firmly committed to adhering to the highest ethical standards in the pursuit of its work. It has met with CTOL and conversations are ongoing between the two.